What's up my people? Bless up on yourself. Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. Click the top bell icon to get notified. Whenever there's something new on the channel, you get notified, right? So I'm gonna get into what I have to share with you guys, but I'm gonna update on the whole SSL thing while I go on right now. See? So them broke in our office. The main office, the head office, SSL head office. And them thief bought five laptop. Me don't know if them thief anything else. But that's how we hear say them thief five laptops. See? So them have alarm on the building, you know. Right? King Alarm and them are the first responders. And them response for the alarm system. Them have a security on the compound. Right? King Alarm say them get the, the alarm trigger off about three times. The two the first two times when the alarm trigger off, them go check. And the security where they upon the ground, you know what I mean? Make them know say everything alright and this and that and ray ray ray. Them say about six o'clock in the morning the alarm trigger off again. And at that the time they them realize say boy the window did open. That our one window for one kitchen where they back of the building see so them say when them check them see say boy them broke in at the building right so people here tell me say the place couldn't secure more better than that you see me i say and them are theorize say maybe somebody locked themselves in at the building and at that the time they them come out of the building maybe they might try to come out a long time but it a chip the alarm so them know say them can't stay in the building when the staff come in so them have to eventually just take with themselves you know what i mean but me see a next article where them say the laptop with them thief that now do nothing to the um the investigation them already have certain evidence and ray 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 so that is a good look to the people them you know what i mean we get the money stolen uh, want this investigation to get underway so that them can get back their money and thing. So, 21 year old man gets a life sentence for two murders and multiple felonies. A 21 year old man who KILL a man and a woman and wounded two others in separate shooting incidents between last December and July this year was this afternoon sentenced to life in prison with the order that he serves 23 years and six months in prison before the possibility of parole. DeAndre Grant, a construction worker of Belfield District, Manchester, and Kenan Heights in Maypen Clarendon pleaded guilty earlier last month and an indictment with 13 counts under a plea deal. The charges consist of two counts of murder, two counts of wounding with intent, six counts of making use of a firearm to commit a felony, and three counts of assault with intent to rob. Justice Leet and Pusey, in handing down the sentence, accept the sentence recommendation of the Director of Public Prosecution, but credited Grant for the six months he spent in custody. Grant was given two life sentences for the murder of 21-year-old Sunil Machette and Catherine Matthews. The judge, however, ordered that he serve 20 years and 6 months for Matthew's murder but granted the DPP's recommended parole period of 24 years in respect to the other murder. Justice Pusey said the sentence was reasonable given that Grant went on a rampage after the first murder. Consequently, he was ordered to serve 23 years and 6 months before being considered for parole. Grant was further sentenced to 20 years each for six counts of gun charges, 15 years each for the wounding charges, and 10 years for the assault with intent to rob charges. The judge, however, ordered that the sentences are to run concurrently, hence Grant will serve those sentences while serving the life sentence. Justice Pusey, during the sentencing, remarked that these serious offenses were more notable because of the young age of the perpetrator and further that the circumstances of the woman's murder was particularly worrying 
given that no motive was stated for the attack. The judge, however, noted that among the factors considered in arriving at the sentence were where Grant's guilty plea is fairly young age, the, um, the social inquiry report, and the submission of both the DPP and Grant's lawyer, Paul Gentles, in the first murder incident, Grant and his accomplice shot and killed 21-year-old Sunil Mashet, otherwise called Shine, a construction worker of Comfort District, Manchester, on December 8, 2022, about 4 p.m. Mashet was murdered along the Kendall Bridge in the parish in the second murder incident which occurred on March 3 this year, Catherine Matthews, a chef of New Green District, Manchester, and her common law husband were walking home in their community when Grant others pounced upon them. Um, the hoodlums opened fire on the couple, hitting them multiple times before escaping in the area. The injured persons were transported to hospital where Matthews was pronounced dead and her spouse treated. Grant stuck struck again at a plaza in mandeville on march 6 where two security guards were attacked by three men one of whom was armed with a handgun the attackers then restrained one of the two guards and demand money the demands were not met and a tussle ensued however the perpetrators fled after a gun went off grant's last victim a mini mart and bar upper ray ta was shot and injured on July 20 at 12.45 a.m. after hosting an event following the series of incidents. Grant was arrested on August 2 in Westmoreland in relation to a separate incident. He was later handed over to the Manchester police and charge la charges laid against him on October 4. Boy, people, this youth here, if them never hold on upon him, a whole heap of people who the dirt. You see me, I say because he look like him lose himself and get caught up in a, the crime world. You see me, I say, so him need to rehabilitate because them same young and come back in a society. And most of them people here, you know, we get locked up, you know. You see me, them become repeat offenders, you know. Them come out, come do the same thing because so many, many time pass. And when them come back, it's like them last to the world. So enough of them resort to the same thing. We get them same way. You understand me? So, I want to tell me what you think in the comment section, my people. So, we are going to move on to the next thing. Right? So, a man get can up and him drop out. In a confrontation with the police, them and this happened in a Westmoreland. Man K I L L after alleged confrontation with police in Westmoreland. A man was shot and killed in an alleged confrontation with the police and a firearm seized in Little, little London. Maybe that them did want to say, but them London or the Pony. Little Westmoreland that them put on Thursday. The identity of the deceased is not yet known. According to the police, the incident happened just before 1 p.m. His death comes just days after the police reassured citizens and business owners in Little London and Negril that they were ramping up assets ramping up assets in the space following a spot of robberies and murders it's only a matter of time before we crush the latest surge which is being committed by greedy reckless terrorists who are hell-bent on creating mayhem i want to assure the residents and citizens of westmoreland that we will not rest until this is accomplished said the deputy superintendent of police in charge of operations in the westmoreland police division adrian hamilton last week it is part of the intensified operation activities in the negril and little london space hamilton told our news team according to hamilton an illegal firearm was seized from the deceased person the independent commissioner of investigation has reportedly launched an investigation into the matter so people we are gonna move over portmore where ex-policeman him get caught up 
and him drop out. See, me I go put him on the thumbnail and him in the hat and the white shirt. See, so me could get another story there now. See, ex cop turned cabby gun down in Portmore. A taxi operator was shot and killed in Kingston Eastern Police Division on Thursday evening. He has been identified as Keneal Wilson, an ex member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force of a St. Catherine address. Information reaching our news team is that sometime after 7 p.m., Wilson was standing beside his motor car on Kensington Road in Portmore when two armed men walked up to him and engaged in a brief conversation before shooting him. His license firearm was also stolen. He was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Investigations are ongoing. Judge R.I.P. to this ex police. You know what I mean? Condolences to his family also. So, we are going to move on, people. And we are going to go over in St. Elizabeth. Double murder in St. Elizabeth house firebomb. Two men were shot dead and a house firebomb in Goshen, St. Elizabeth, early Friday morning. The identities of the men have not yet been released. Head of the St. Elizabeth Police, Acting Superintendent Coleridge Minto, in confirming the incident, said detectives are now on the scene as well as the major investigation division. Preliminary reports are that earlier, about 1 a.m., residents heard loud explosion and saw, and saw smoke coming from a house. The police were called and the bodies of the two men were found with what appeared to be gunshot wounds. They were subsequently pronounced dead. Statistics from the police show that up to December 2nd, St. Elizabeth recorded a reduction in murders with 29 people being KILL since the start of the year when compared to 38 for the corresponding period last year. So people, like, subscribe. And let me know what you guys think in other comments.